Hey folks, Sean McCormick here. And today I'm going to look at how we can use raw files and smart objects together so that you can update your uh, PSD files containing smart objects of your raw with changes that you've made in Lightroom. So here we have a file in Lightroom 2. This works in Lightroom 3 as well in the beta. And uh, I'm although I have CS5 trial installed, I'll actually be opening in CS4. Just a note that if you have CS5 and uh, you want to actually open something in CS4, if CS4 is open in the background, well then the file will go to CS4. So what I'm going to do is I have this file. It's an infrared file, which is why it looks kind of funny. It's just a, a, a Canon RAW file. That's all. And it's just to give you an example of how you can use it. So to actually do something with this, we're going to go Photo edit in and not like I said before I see CS5 there but if I click open a smart object in Photoshop it will open in CS4 which is open in the background so we do that and we can see that it's jumped to CS4 which is already open and we have our file here and we can see here that we have the smart object symbol so we know this is a smart object now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very quickly uh, do a channel swap which is kind of a standard kind of infrared thing it's just to give you an example of something happening on a different layer so 0 100 and then the blue channel I'm gonna put red at 100 and blue at 0 so it literally swapped the channels that's it it's a technique you can find all over the net uh, so if I click on layers I can see that I now have two layers which is my channel mixer and we can see that we have the smart object now I'm going to jump back to Lightroom and I'm going to make some changes in the develop module for a second and it'll all make sense in it so I'm going to change the color temperature to make it a little bit redder I'm going to bring up the blacks you know to make it darker maybe bring down the exposure slightly as well I'm going to push some brightness some contrast and maybe some clarity this is just so that we can see that something's happening inside the file. And then I'm going to go to uh, back to, going to press E. So I'm, I'm back to loop view for a second. And then in metadata, I'm going to go save metadata to file, which is command S on Mac or control S on PC. And then I'm going to come to the photo menu again and I'm going to go show in finder. Now that's just to make it easy for me to find this when I need to go and do my next step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back to Photoshop. Now we can see here if I double click on the smart object to edit it that it hasn't recognized the fact that I have saved stuff in my original raw file. The reason for that is it's essentially working on a copy of the file rather than a link to the file. So I'm going to click cancel for a second and I'm going to show you my little trick, my little workaround. And what it is is that you come over here to the smart object and you right click on the smart object and you come down here and you go replace contents. So that will open up uh, the place dialog. So I'm going to go back to Finder and I'm going to jump between that and Photoshop and I'm going to drop that one in there. So that's now 7595 is selected. So I click Place. And we can see that this is opened up with our updated settings from uh, the XMP. It's read the XMP in. So I click OK and we can see that it has replaced the file. So now it's got an updated raw file inside there. So that's a very, very quick way of being able to change your raw files in Lightroom and have them reflected inside the PSD files that may be associated with that file. It's kind of useful. Uh, now, there may, as it turns out, there may be hooks in between Lightroom and Photoshop that allows this to happen automatically, but I've searched and I can't find them. But in the meantime, this does allow me to update my smart object, my raw file, inside a PSD.